Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sitting down and trying a brand that I have never tried before and I have quite a lot of makeup so this might come as a surprise to you but I have never tried anything from the brand Zoeva and this came in my April BoxyCharm so I figured now was the time to check it out and give it a try so if you guys would like to see swatches try on and hear my first impressions of the Zoeva shadow palettes then just keep watching. This one is the Opulence palette. Looks like this is the outer carton. It's really pretty. It's got like a dark romantic floral with some gold metallic detail on it. The actual palette inside looks the same and inside we have these shades and no mirror. It just says Zoeva, sometimes more is simply more. And it looks like I have one matte in the palette to work with, this uh, red right here and the rest are shimmery metallic shades. So let's start off with swatches. Here are the first four shades. We have High Chair, Society Figures, Get Your Glory. Oh, that's really unimpressive. Okay, that one swatches horribly. Imperial. Coendor, I don't understand that one. Industrial Fortune. Sense of Movement. Queen for a day. The only delight and golden years. These seem like very washed out colors to me with the exception of maybe this bright copper. Like the metallics are just kind of like more muted metallics. They're not intense. They're not super shiny. And this red, I don't know what the deal is with this. It's just not building up no matter how much I'm pressing. So hopefully it will apply differently than it swatches, you never know. So we'll jump right into the eye look in just a sec. Okay, so I've zoomed you in, I did one eye. So let me show you what I did to create this look so far. I went in with Get Your Glory, the matte red shade, and I'll show you what it does. It sets down, but it doesn't really blend out. Like normally shades would like blend out easily and I blend and blend and blend and I still feel like I have this like harsh edge where the red shadow stops. So it's kind of applying as it's swatched in my opinion. Okay, so you can get it to work. It just takes a little bit of extra effort. Next, I went into Golden Years, this like deep plum on the outer corner. Back in with the red. Next, moving over to the Only Delight, this like purpley shimmer one, kind of moving across the lid. Cleaning off my brush, then going into Industrial Fortune, this kind of champagne shade on the inner part of the lid. So that's pretty much what we have so far. So I'm going to finish off my face makeup and I'll be back to finish the lower lash line and talk about my thoughts of this palette. Okay guys, so face makeup's on, time to finish up the eyes. And I think I'm just gonna go with, I feel like there's only one option, which is this kind of purple shade or the reddish shade. And I don't really want any more of this matte red shade on the eyes, I'm just not a big fan. So I'm just gonna kind of dip a dome brush into golden years and just kind of smudge along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with high chair, which I don't think they mean like a child's high chair, in the inner corner. Oh, 
has a nice brightening effect. And under the brow bone. Let me pop on a little mascara and I'll be back to tell you my thoughts. Okay, so I went ahead and applied a little bit of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I honestly feel like the mascara kind of saved it. This palette, in my opinion, is just like a run-of-the-mill palette. The red was very unimpressive. It did not apply well. It did not blend well. And the metallics are fine. I mean, they're nice. But they're nothing that I can't find in other palettes that I already own. Okay, so based on my only experience with the Zoeva brand, which is this palette, I would say that it's kind of like a run-of-the-mill basic palette. I don't, I wasn't a big fan of the matte. It didn't apply well, it didn't blend well, it didn't swatch well. And the metallics, while they are nice and they are fine, they're not blowing me out of the water here. So I'm gonna say for me, this is not a palette I would be running out and purchasing, and it doesn't really make me want to purchase anything else from the brand, I'm just being honest here, guys. Um, let me know your experience with the Zoeva brand. Is there something that they're known for other than shadow palettes that maybe I'm missing out on by not trying more from the brand? So let me know in the comments down below. But I'm gonna say first impressions of the brand and this palette, I'm gonna say it's probably a pass for me. It's nothing that I feel like I wanna tell the world about. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing swatches, try on and hearing my first thoughts of this palette from Zoeva. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.